Um, not much. In college, I heard. Really don't remember much. I remember uh, watching in the in the locker room and and cheering my guys on. I think we came up with some big uh, sacks towards the end there. I, I don't remember that. But from the day, I don't remember. Really, I mean, it was it was that. It was a good one, yeah. What, what did you uh, think of watching them Monday night and the tape since then, Nick, on how their offense is looking and Dak and the line? Um, yeah, that was a good showing by them. I think they were happy to get rolling coming into the playoffs. I, um, I think their run game was, was kind of setting up their pass game. Um, but, yeah, I think that, that's exactly how they wanted to show coming into this game. Dax has that ability to get out of the pocket and find those rush lanes. And how important is that for you guys to, to seal those off? It's going to be a big one for yeah. sure. He kind of does it anywhere, B gaps or outside each way. Um, but yeah, he's a big creator down the field after that. So um, that'll be a big focus this week. You mentioned the Cowboys' your... Niners were such a big rivalry for a long time. The 80s and 90s and last year's first time they played the first one. Did you feel that? Like, how, how did that kind of show up on game day, you know, or even the lead up to it last year? Um, yeah, I think whenever you play the Cowboys, just because uh, the hype that they get, maybe they don't even want that much hype, but they get it anyway um, because of the team that they are and the talent they have and all that. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's playoff football either way, so it's going to be a big deal, but uh, the pass definitely makes it even bigger. Nick, you mentioned Dax's mobility. How would you assess how We've done well. Uh, I think we got we've gotten better each season with it. Uh, we haven't faced quite as many this year. Um, but yeah, that that Raiders game was probably the worst effort we had against a guy who could move. Um, so yeah, we got to be we got to be better. You mentioned you're watching in the locker room last year after you went out. What was your specific reaction to Charles when he ran that power move on Tyron Smith? What was my reaction? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I was. A little dazed. <laughs> DJ's leg is pretty stout. <laughs> does, does the lack of memory go, you know, predate? I mean, how, how far back does it? When, when's no. your last memory of that leading up to that game? Um, I, I, I remember the uh, the first stunt we ran for a sack because my dad was sitting right in a box right up front, so I, I looked at him after that. Um, and then I remember celebrating with the guys in the locker room afterwards. Is that your scariest concussion, Nick? Or? Um, yeah, I'd say so. Do you have one since? Uh, no. You mentioned Thankfully. Yeah. the Miami game with Kyle kind of dinging the defensive line at you and the response you had. Do you know when that happens, what he's doing, or did you feel like, he, okay, yeah, he's poking me just to get Who's me that? Kyle? Kyle, yeah, before the Miami game, we kind of dinged you a little more. Um, yeah, I think uh, he, he does a lot of things. He's very uh, deliberate on his uh, preparation for the week and whether it's challenging certain guys. Uh, he does anything that he thinks will give us an edge or uh, give the team an advantage. Did you say something back? Or do you just do it? Um, no, I mean, it was during a team meeting. I'm not going to say anything <laughs> to Kyle. Do you uh, follow Michael Parsons' season at all this season? This, this yeah, season, I've by watched. Week? They're on a lot, so I watch. Kyle, what do you think of his, his game? And He's the top player in the league, for sure. What, what about what about his game? Do you look, stand out? Um, just crazy athletic. Uh, he's got a few moves that he goes to. He wins a lot, and he hustles. Uh, and he's just a uh, sideline to sideline player. Does your preparation change depending on if it's going to be, you know, uh, the veteran or the rookie you're going to be facing over there on the end? Um, I think we'll watch all of them just to make sure. Um, but yeah, we we got to be ready for whatever they're going to throw at us. In terms of uh, this defense versus the one that went into Dallas last year, what specific areas do you think that this this defense has improved upon? Do you need second year as a defensive coordinator? I think all three phases. Um, we kind of one thing that I that we watched was how how great our effort was in that game, and that's something that we need to continue to, to do because that's what takes teams into the playoffs. And, and stopping a run and then 
playing with your hair on fire. So we need to we need to be like that. You, you watch Arden um, Arden Key with the Jags, and he's got those boys really playing with that that effort, and uh, it kind of shows. You see Buck and the Colts, like guys who come from here, kind of bring that with them, and uh, we need to make sure that we uphold that standard. When you see a Monday night. How big a deal it is when a kicker just kind of loses it. I mean, Robbie Gould doesn't generally lose it like that. I like to know you have the guy who's having this to play out It's awesome, yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable confidence in him. Um, yeah, that was pretty wild. Uh, you usually don't see guys just completely get the yips like that, um, but um, it does show how tough that position is, even for a short kick like that. Huff broke out with some real big plays earlier in the year. He was consistent enough to be an all pro first. Uh, was that something you saw coming after um, his rookie year? Did you were you surprised at all, or did you see it coming? Uh, I think <clears throat> whenever you come on that hot, it's a bit of a surprise just from a first year starter. Mm -hmm. But you definitely can see it. Uh, the previous year, it was just about uh, getting more reps and cleaning up his eyes a little bit and stuff like that but i always knew he had that big playability mm -hmm. uh, when you saw what happened on the giants vikings game that weird roughing the passer call and then what happened to your brother on the uh, false start and then the holding they didn't call how does a player keep his cool when it's so evident it's a mistake in a game this big um you just have to self-control um I'm sure Joey wishes he could take that back, but obviously he can't, and it costs your team. So um, you have to be able to keep your cool no matter how bad the refs are at certain times. I make apologize for getting here a little late, but there's a clip of Juice blocking Trent on accident. Did you see that clip? I didn't, know. Oh, okay. Well, you got him pretty good. Mm -hmm. You guys good? Yep. Cool. <laughs>